All done. No problems. No missing clusters. Fragmentation. Your cognition's 100%. Janitor Jack. I error scan daily and defragment on a regular basis. Oh, kudos to you, buddy. Since being assigned to custodial duties, I've come to place a high value on meticulous physical and mental hygiene. What is that? That's Lucky Pierre, my froggy. Would you like to hear him croak? I should finish buffing the corridor before coffee break. Fascinating, isn't it? Here, hang on to it. Give it a good squeeze whenever you feel like it. Those signs, idiot. I just finished buffing this. Don't you shoot your mouth off at me, Andy. What do you think you're doing? I'm gonna use you now. Who's your superior? Where's Kelly, you damn can? Oh, rogue! Rogue android security! I need help here, please! You, you, you stay right where you are, okay? Now, I am a human. I'm gonna hurt you now, sir. You must learn about floors and high Why the hell did you have to zap him? Why couldn't you just hit his kill switch? My partner got a shock off him. I had no choice but to do some. Well, Kelly. Well, this shouldn't have happened, period. The guy was here just now, and let me tell you, he's got some nuts calling himself a service yeah, tech. I want to report on this, Kelly. I want to report on this now. Seems that they dealt out an idiopathic event. You went berserk. Oh, idiopathic? What the hell does that mean? Idiopathic means arising unexpectedly for unknown, uncertain, or undetermined reasons. You first from the CPV? Take a fume, Detective Favre. Can we take this somewhere else? Yeah, there's a custodial service area just down the hall. Okay, let's get these people out of the hallway. Security said his kill switch was electrified. I don't know if that's the case or whether they're just covering their butts. Fixing him might not be economical considering how they zapped him. Hey, you! CBB. I'll be right with you, ma'am. Can I talk to him? Should be able to. I don't know how the hell this could have happened. He was checked for bit rot just this morning. He checked out okay? I'm fine now. Ready for work. He was inspected a few hours ago. The thing is, I called the people who supposedly serviced him. There ain't no such company. I think I'm gonna need that name. I have an invoice right here, this disc. Do you know why he chose to attack you? Picked up some static on a doormat and cooked his circuits. It is quite likely the Delta will have to be deactivated. Okay, 
Unless the cause of his behavior can be determined and corrected. All we did was step on his wax floor. He went wild. He got verbally abusive, then he attacked yeah, me. His mind is completely distorted. For God's sake, why can't we just, just... What? Specifically, sir, what do you wish to do? You know, maybe we ought to have rights as victims. Yeah, maybe we got a right to destroy that thing. Unfortunately, so long as that thing is part of a CPB investigation, you have no such right. Huh. No? No. I was almost finished my buffing. Then those two stepped on my freshly waxed floor. Any malfunctions in your history? Check my service records. Never a problem. He's right. He's never even needed minor service. Must have been a transient power surge. Whatever it was, it's over now. <sighs> it's not that simple. Because I'm not human. If the problem can be fixed, you won't face charges. How much time and money do you think gets spent fixing discontinued utility androids? I'll speak to the Uber Brawl factory rep. If you can be recertified, I'll tell him. I'll pay the extra dough myself, right? No. I feel not... I feel unusual. As if... I'm dying. What's happening? I don't know. He's not even supposed to be able to move, not even his eyelids. Okay, I want to get him down to the CPP lab right away. As long as it doesn't come out of my budget. Barf. Let's call it transport. I want to get this guy down to the lab. That ain't no guy, buddy. It's just a crappy machine. And he's catching on fire. Oh, my God. What's that? Put that piece of machinery out. Come on, people. I got it. Busy morning. Yeah, you can say that again. This yours? No. Who has access to this place? Me. The androids, of course, and that service tech that was here earlier. Thanks. Thank you very much. Let me ask you something. Does that mean anything to you? Is that intended to sound like a genuine amphibian? Forget about it. It was a, it was a long shot. There was not much of a delta left for Olin to work with. What could have caused it? He violated his bioethic. That's extremely rare. And though his movement subsystem was off, he was able to override a hardware setting. These two events... In English, would... Favre, in English. It is impossible for a delta to override a hardware setting. When it's off, it becomes immobilized. There has to be another element at work. Such as? Possibly a computer virus. It would have to be something new to have evaded detection by the delta's antiviral defenses. How would this virus be transmitted? Perhaps it was introduced by the missing service technician. Let's start a trace. Today's incident is being played upon the bitnets as another android gone berserk story. In case you're wondering, the assessor's interest is purely precautionary at this point, detective. Any luck tracing the tech who worked on the android? Neither he nor his employer exist. The custodial android supervisor was responding to a promotional e-com offer. It was the first time he had used the company. You think the victim set this thing up looking for a liability settlement? They were idiots. Detective Favre? Did you do any follow-up on them regarding their potential involvement? Lieutenant Cowley? I am capable of replaying my entire conversation with the executives for you to hear for yourself, if you so wish. That's not necessary, Favre. All we want to know is if you checked out the possibility. I ruled it out. On what basis? I 
I ruled it out, Lieutenant, on the basis of my conclusion that the two victims of the assault were such dim-witted morons that they couldn't forge a cab receipt, let alone commit a major fraud. Hume. What was that all about? David, uh, um, are you feeling okay? I felt... David, I must tell you, it was with the greatest difficulty I refrained from assaulting Lieutenant Callie. Well, I felt that way myself on more than one occasion. No, no, you don't, you don't understand. While resisting the compulsion, I, I lost my sense of proper deportment to a superior officer, Lieutenant Arenthal. I, I said inappropriate things. I, I'm having trouble. You want to talk to Olin about this? Yes. Olin, can we speak to you for a second? Mm -hmm. Barb's been having some, uh, some difficulties. What kind of difficulty? An unusual impulse to physical violence and a lack of nuanced control in vocal communications. Can you check them out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lieutenant, I'd like to go back to the office building where the Delta first had the problem. You looking for anything specific? Just a hunch. Ian, why don't you come over here, have a seat, relax, and let me know if you experience any more unusual symptoms. Thank you, Dr. Chang. I will run some internal diagnostics. Excuse me. Olan, before you resume work on the Delta, I must say a few brief words with the lieutenant's permission. Is it important? Lieutenant Arenthal, it is vital to my sense of the appropriate. Okay, go ahead. Lieutenant Arenthal, Lieutenant Callie, I realize that my words and bearing toward you as superior officers were malapert. Although the cause of this behavior that I refer to, I suspect, is some form of transient malfunction, nevertheless, my violation, gross violation of inherent standards of courtesy and etiquette caused me great shame. Apology accepted. Try not to let it happen again. Hey! I'm not finished. Far. We've got work to do. We don't have time for this. I insist. I shall, of course, follow up my initial apology to you, Lieutenant Arenthal, and to you, Lieutenant Kelly, with a general apology to everybody present for any delay caused by my initial apology. I would also request a note paper and a stylus in order that my second apology, the general one, could be a written one. And I would think it appropriate if we would all just join hands for one moment while I recite a short traditional prayer of contrition, usually attributed to St. Francis of Assisi. Two of the Delta's four processors running, and we've managed to restore about 20% of the system memory. And? And that's a miracle. What is Favre doing? Internal self-diagnostics. He's been doing that since he left. Did you find any data in the Delta's remains? Any known self-replicating code? Any viruses? Nothing as yet. Why? If what we're looking for is an android targeting virus, could Favre be suffering from the same thing? I am affected by something, Lieutenant. But I do not think it is a virus.
Sounds crazy, but I want you to run a test on this for me. Lieutenant? What's up? It appears that whatever hit the Delta android came by way of the frog. Olin's not sure how, but she's convinced that's the way it happened. How's Favre? No change. Is he fit for duty? We can't afford an android screw-up, not this close to home. He'll be okay. If he's got what the Delta had, he can deal with it. Far's full capabilities are kind of like uncharted territory. Mm -hmm. Something else? It's hard for all of us sometimes, but just remember, at the end of the day, Favre is a machine. Hey, I'm no android lover, you know that. But right now, this guy's my partner, and that makes a difference. Is there something going on you're not telling me about? Only that, partner or not, none of us is an expert on alphas. Something goes wrong, we're all at a loss. Hey. Hey. What'd you find out? Well, there could be a chunk of rotten code buried in the sound it puts out, but we haven't isolated it yet. Olam? David? May I speak with you for a moment? I am perplexed. It would appear there has been a speed variation in my internal clock. It was reset immediately, but several milliseconds worth of sensory data input were stored with the incorrect date and time. What time did this happen? 9.45.01.2051 local time. But you weren't able to isolate the cause, the virus? No. The data storms are increasing in frequency, causing me to use more and more processing power. These memories, do you know what they were? The visual portion is missing, presumably deleted. However, I have found an audio file. Olen, I suggest you record the playback. It may prove to be of some interest. David, although my difficulties are manageable, the rate at which my problem is increasing, if it does so, is uncertain. I may need your help. Okay, Favre, I'm ready for your audio replay. Go ahead. Yeah, it's the same sound the frog makes. It looks like whatever virus attacked that Delta had an effect on you. No what? I'll take the sample apart, bit by bit. How long will it take? I have no way of knowing. Favre's inner workings are a secret that a lot of people would kill for. I'm not working with a reference manual here. Given the inherent uncertainties, I feel it best to devote all available processing power to dealing with the irregularities I'm experiencing. There is one further procedure I am capable of performing. Favre. It is a procedure I would rather not perform within the confines of the CBP, David, for security reasons. How's my clearance? First rate. Good. Olivia, this is not how I imagined my first visit to your home. I understand. failed to bring a hostess gift. These things happen. Making any progress? Yes. Or rather, I am hopeful. But I am running out of alternate approaches. I will know more when I am up and running.
it's an alpha specialist. Someone at the assessor's office has to know who built him. If they do, they're not saying anything. I don't understand. Somebody has made a huge investment in him. I think what's happening is... It's part of some sort of script being played out. What the game is, I have no idea. But it's like we're all just... waiting to see how Five's gonna react. Generated situation. That's how they used to test the warrior androids before they were banned. You think Cooper Braun's behind this? No. They don't have the technology for an alpha. You saw that yourself. What about another consortium company? Recall, maybe. I don't know, David. It could be any of them. I'm just guessing, but it was done to the combat models. Well, if it is a test, it's gone too far. David? Olivia? I think I've managed it. When I said I was running out of approaches, I actually had one left. I'll tell you about it while we're driving. Why don't you give me the details now? Maybe I can call ahead. Damn straight, Big Dave. Far. You know, you may not think that it meant very much having you around, but it... Uh, sorry. I'm fine, really. No. No, you're not fine. And we're not going anywhere until you tell me what's going on. The virus has a purpose, David. Someone is trying to force me to return to my creator for reasons of self-preservation, assuming that is my only chance at survival. Who? Oh. I do not know. And is it your only chance? I'm afraid it is. by employing the same techniques used by counterintelligence agents during the Second World War. Who's following you, Farth? I do not really know the answer to that thing. But I do know that whomever has unleashed this virus inside me has done significant damage to my internal processing system. young women at the last corner. I'm sure I've seen them before. I'm pretty sure they were Girl Scouts. It could be that, too. Well, David, we are here. Yeah? Now what? Now? We eat. Eat? It is good for the stomach and the soul, David. What? Food. Food. You don't even need to eat, Farf. 
but I am capable of eating. And for some time now, David, I have been meaning to introduce myself to the pleasures of the table. Besides, David, eating affords a rare opportunity to sample what is said to be the truly great pleasure of physically eliminating solid waste. Play acting, David. From here on in, everything must take place in a very specific order. You like a contact coat? Let's eat. Excuse me, sir. What is your best dish, both coming in and going out? We got very sleecha on Ramora. Two plate left. Excellent. We will have the sleecha. And David, I'm buying. So, David, would you describe this meal as superb or merely tasty? I call it disgusting. How much longer do we wait? Disgusting. Well, I am delighted you confirm my opinion of the cuisine. How much longer? To make contact with your people. My people? What this is all about. We're supposed to be meeting the people that made you, remember? Ah. David. Do not assume that I know more about my maker than you do about yours. It is time. Time for what? Wish me luck. Far away. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. Barb, can I talk to you for a second? Not now, David. Barb, get down off the stage. Come on. In other words, later, David. No, now. Baby, kiss me. Well, David, what is the matter? Thank you very much. You've been a great audience. What is that? They just sat on their hands, David. I do not understand. Don't oh, they appreciate music? Snot eaters. We're sorry. There was no contact set up here, was there, Farf? I don't know. I thought I knew. But maybe the virus. David, I believe the virus has rendered my knowledge of contact protocols unreliable. Get you in the car. Best place for you is the lab. Come on. Get your hands off me. Who? Who, who are? Who? Who are you? Who are you? David Hume. I'm your partner. Hume. I. I. I do not know. Hume. Hume. You're sick, Favre. You're very sick. Somebody's done this to you, and you need help. What I need is to be left alone if you're not with me. Get lost. You can't help me. I, I, I don't need your help. Fill my heart with song and let me sing forevermore. David. I'm not leaving, partner. David. Those lowlifes wouldn't know a classic if it hit them in the ear. I know. I go back to the lab. Bronco Busters around here than cowboys. I can't stop singing, David. I know. There's millions of split-level homes on the range. You guys got something to spare for a citizen down in his luck? I think it's hey, too late for them. Hey, I ain't asking for no annuity, fellas. 
It's just enough to buy an honest drink. Don't move, detective. I'd love to turn you into a little cloud. What do you want? Your partner. He's all I need to make my life a rich and complete one. He's no good to you. He's damaged. Well, I guess them the breaks at the big betters table, huh? Guess we'll have to uh, tear your droid assistant down piece by piece. And then we'll figure out where he was assembled and by whom. Who's paying you? Who's not paying me? <laughs> I'm the technician, pal. Does that mean anything to you? You're just another number on a want list for me. I don't need to feel wanted. I am wanted. Every company on the planet or off, including those in the consortium group, are willing to pay whatever price I ask for the Alpha technology. Come as close as you want, Detective. Your vapor, meaning what's left of you, will drift down this alley, and all you will hear is a slight buzz. Drop your weapons, now! Good. You two lie down. Lie down! Hands on your heads while your heads are still there. What's going on? I'd appreciate it if you keep my involvement to yourself. Yeah? If you're not here, who killed him? Maybe you. I just saved your life. I think you'd be a little more grateful. No, I'm not playing any more of your games. I don't see how you have a choice, Detective. No choice? My partner's dying. I'm running out of time. I don't want any more of your lies. I don't need any more of your bullshit. What do you want to know? What are you doing here? This whole thing was a setup. It was a plan to catch the technician. A plan? That's right. I got a tip that the technician was going to make a play for an alpha android. So you used Farve's bait? It wasn't as cold-blooded as that. Farve's makers gave him built-in backup. I knew I'd be able to track him, and if need be, I'd be able to restore him. How did you know? I want to know how you know! I can't tell you. Does it matter? David. Dave. He's not human. He's a high-priced piece of machinery. I used him to do my job. Do you think Alphas have a better shot at an afterlife than Del Deltas? Yeah, it matters. He matters. Come on, let's get out of here. You knew about this, didn't you? I knew he was going after the technician. I also knew he wanted to keep it a secret. Everybody's got secrets in this place. I don't like him any more than you do. Right. All right. Last one. Are you ready, Ian? Hell yes, Doc. Just. Turn on the juice and let the gall darn thing loose. All right, apparently this device is going to delete your existing programs and replace them with new, uncorrupted ones. There might be some discomfort. Oh, man. There will be more discomfort if we do not proceed. David, if this should fail, it will be no worse than and death, which, which all humans e e experience. All right, this is going to shut down his system, delete it, then restore the stored system. It should be the same Farve as before, minus about 12 hours of memory. What does that mean? Farve will be as good as dead since the last time he was backed up. 
Far from self-believe the process was reliable, it was provided to us by whoever made him. I don't care if Favre approved it himself or not, Callie. If anything goes wrong, it's on you. I believe some of this is being controlled or at least monitored from an external source. There's a large bandwidth data link from which Favre seems to send and receive information externally. The sooner we proceed, Dr. Chang. If he's damaged in any way, you and me are going round and round. He should be who he was when he started this morning. I don't know, there aren't any instructions for this. works, Far should be okay in a few seconds. Farf. Farf, can you hear me? Come on, man, I know you're in there. Good to see you again. Farb, your systems, do they all check out normally? Yes. Check and recheck. System integrity is at 100%. Thank you. So, I would appear to have lost 12 hours. <laughs> what happened since I was infected? I don't know where to begin. It's a long story. Can you all give us a minute? I'd like to talk to Favre on my own. Let me meet you too, Kelly. I'm not the enemy detective. Is something the matter? Owen said something about a data link. A way for you to communicate with and be monitored by a, an outside source. Yes, David, there is such a link. I want you to tell me who that source is. That is complicated. I am not certain. Complicated's no good, Farf. You say I got a problem. You're supposed to be my partner. There's just too much stuff I don't know about you. 
kind of stuff a partner's got to know where he can't trust the other guy. Without that trust, there is no partnership. Do you understand? Yes, I think so. You can't think. You gotta know. Yes, David. I need to prove myself worthy of your trust. Level two, outer bridge reach. That's down on the lake shore. I know. Can't you just tell me now? Do we have to go all the way down there? I can't tell you. I have to show you. what it would be like to be on one of those barges, David? As far as I know, they're fully automated. There might be a couple service androids on board, but... Look with your imagination. That's where I was born, David. That's where I was born. 